welcome back to the reviews.com channel. My name is Vienna and today I'm going to share my work from home routine with you. Woo! Hi everyone, welcome to the reviews.com channel. My name is Mary Gabby and I work in the Puerto Rico office as a business analyst. This is my mom. And today I will share with you some tips to find work from home slash dog parent balance. And this is Vienna. Hi. The first tip I want to share with you today is to take your furry friends out for a long walk in the morning. Taking them out for a walk that's 30 to 40 minutes long is going to give them enough exercise and exposure to the sun to have them desire throughout the morning, which is going to give you plenty of time to catch up in emails, get started in those morning meetings, uh, and just have a really productive morning. So that's why you make me run every morning. Joke's on you, mom. I take naps while you work. Another tip that I find worth sharing is setting up a calm space for your pet to hang out. That way they have a designated area to have fun and to play. This creates boundaries between your workspace and your life space. Hopefully your pets get to respect that. I think Vienna doesn't really know the difference between boundaries and which is her calm space versus my workspace, but we're still working on that. Boundaries? What's that? Another tip that I want to share with you today is sit to stretch out. Don't spend all day sitting in your workspace because you can get very tired. That way you can use that time to check out on your mates, spend a little time with them, train them. Uh, and if you're using treats, make sure that the treats you're using are safe. Here's a list of the ingredients you can look for in their treats and the ingredients you should be avoiding. Oh, I have another good tip for you. If you're failing to follow the principle of the designated workspace and you're finding yourself taking meetings uh, from your couch, make sure that your dog is in their safe space, in their calm space, so that they don't end up showing up in your meetings and saying hi to your coworkers, unless it's a puppy play date. I'm lucky enough to have a great coworker that not only has a dog of her own, she is also volunteering to do foster care during the quarantine. So we do multiple play dates every other week so that our pets can also hang out with their friends virtually. I love my furry friends. So if that's the case, then it's totally fine. But if it's a real work meeting, make sure that your dog is not peeking through the camera and saying hi to your coworkers. The next tip I'm gonna be sharing with you is one of Fiona's favorite, which is exercise your pet. Remember that it's okay to take breaks from work. Uh, aside from taking Vienna out on walks during the morning, we usually go on a shorter walk during our lunch time, and then we end the day exercising her a little bit more. This is my favorite part of the day. Either playing a little bit outside or just going on a long walk again before just being ready to go offline and disconnect from work and hang out a little bit in our balcony. What we usually do when our day is over is come here to the balcony, enjoy some music from our Pandora account and watch the sunset. And that way we officially disconnect, sit from our working from home day to enjoy some time together. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you get to apply some of these tips to make your days more productive while still dedicating some time to your furry friends now that you're spending more time at home. If you like this video, please leave us a comment down below or subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you. Bye.